My name is Evan Spittler. I work for uh, Sparkfront Electronics uh, Tech Support, and I am passionate about building and seeing and enjoying robots. I've sort of always been uh, interested in robots, like as a child growing up in the 80s with, you know, Star Wars and Star Trek robots and, and you know, all of these sci-fi transformers, all these classic robots. It's very, very inspirational for a, for a young child, especially one with the natural curiosity about the world. As I, as I was studying in college, I was studying manufacturing engineering and there was a lot of uh, robotics for automation and it, it just seemed sort of inescapable. It's like, okay, here I am living in the future and there are all of these robots around me. I should have a better understanding of it. As I got more into robotics, I started to understand more about myself and how I perceive the world uh, just trying to understand how to make a machine do the same thing. When you, when you talk about robots, that is real robots, not mechanical men, but like automata. There are a number of things you need, you know, power structures, mechanics, sensors. And to talk to each one, you have to understand how each works with each other. And when you, when you start hooking up sensors, you start understanding how an object can perceive the universe. And you, you start to realize that it's not that different from the way a biological machine, a person or an animal perceives the world. And for me anyway, I start to realize that there are holes in, in human perception that are frankly quite alarming. The human eye is a really good sensor for detecting uh, var uh, varying light levels um, and there you know there, there's two sensors in the human eye the cones and the rods one one senses uh, color and the other se senses in intensity and with those two overlapping sensors it is responsible for what we see everything beyond that is all in the perception so there are things that a human eye cannot process or that a human eye cannot that that a human eye can process, but uh, the human mind cannot. There is an example with a video of a uh, uh, basketball players, uh, some in white uniforms, some in black uniforms, and the the video the exercise asks you to count how many times the the white uniform players pass the ball, and while you're paying attention to that, your attention is completely missing a man in a gorilla suit walking through the frame to show you that just because you can sense something doesn't mean that you can perceive it and you know for for machines we have all of these different sensors we, we have you know lights uh, light intensity color um, uh, gravitation uh, gyros uh, gyroscopy uh, odometry we have all these ways of measuring the world around us but there's only a limited bandwidth of processing so Trying to, trying to parse signals from the environment, you, you start to realize uh, that those, those, those holes are present everywhere. So I, I, I still find myself as an adult playing with these, with these construction toys and still drawing inspiration for uh, mechanism design. Um, robotic hardware has been around for centuries. Uh, there have been studies about Roman era theater performing automata and da Vinci's designs and this these are all mechanical and there was a there there was a limitation to what these mechanics could do without having a high speed source of logic and so as as uh, computers became existent and then smaller and more and more affordable uh, you start to unleash what can be done with these these mechanical devices and then when you start marrying um, mechanical devices with with embedded electronics and you you have the the, the, the code the, the the software inside driving them it almost imparts a sense of godliness here is this thing that did not exist before and I have created it from my mind to sense and perceive the world and get lost in it and find its way. And it's, 
it's it's exhilarating to see a robot roll off under its own cognizance for the first time even if that cognizant even if you don't have a lot of faith in its ability to process everything that it that it sees <laughs>